And by the way, I just talked to somebody last well, two weeks ago about humanoid robots. I suspect before long, um, your your technology will be inside that robot or attached to the robot. And so we just have all that much more information. Fascinating. Anyway, I want to switch gears a little bit. So every other podcast, somebody says to me, AI, AI, and I've heard these people say generative AI, I hear them say agentic AI. And I think, you know, I have some sense of it. We I use AI every day um, for something or other. Um, but what what is AI? Why is it so important that we adopt it for use in our in our warehouses? Sure. So I take a very broad definition to AI. So when I, you know, back in back in school, AI was not nearly as advanced as it was today. AI is really my definition of AI is anything that is it, 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 it starts to approach human-like behavior, right? And, um, you know, even just the invention of a barcode scanner is to me is a piece of AI technology because what it's done is it's imbued a computer with the ability to differentiate between a bag of dog food and a can of Campbell's soup, right? Um, so it's a very broad theme. And what we're, what we're seeing today in AI is we're, we're actually approaching... Uh, or probably surpass now um, a level where um, there's something called the Turing test. I don't know if any of your other guests have have talked about this, but this is, I'm having a conversation with an, a computer. Can I tell it's a computer? And we're finally to that point where with these large language models, so this broad space of AI, we've now got a new tool in the toolkit that is a large language model that is now has this flexibility and behavior that's so much like a human, you really can't, can't tell the difference. And that's really changing um, how we work in, in the industry. So one, one way that well, I, I like to think about where we are in the state of AI today and how that's different than the past is back, back when I was building these AI tools um, you know, let's say in the Kiva case, we had these robots that were, they were driving around and moving shelves so that people could pick items off the shelves. They had to make decisions based on some very simple rules. So they, we would program the robot. When you come up against another robot, do this, right? Uh, run this algorithm. 